Hi and welcome students. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to learn more about Microsoft Word 2019. This is the first video of a playlist that will help prepare you for your Microsoft Office Specialist Certification exam, as well as prepare you for the different things that you'll need to use Word for in your career and personal life. Let's get started. So first off, you'll see on my computer that I already have Microsoft Word right down here, but let's say that you don't. If you don't have Microsoft Word right down here in your taskbar, you'll need to search for Microsoft Word. And to search for it, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left right here where the Start menu is and click on that. I'm going to be going over a series of keyboard shortcuts throughout this playlist, so I'm going to show you one right now. To open the Start menu without clicking down there, look on your keyboard to the, towards the bottom left. You should see the Windows icon on your keyboard, and that's the Windows Start menu button. It's usually located to the left of the space bar, to the left of Alt. When you press that, it'll open up the uh, start menu. And so this is a shortcut. And so now you can either search through the list of available applications in your start menu to find Microsoft Word, or you can immediately start to type WORD. When you do that, if you have Microsoft Word installed on your computer, you're going to see that Microsoft Word pops up in, as your best match right here. All right, now you could click on Word to launch the application, but instead I wanna put my application in this bottom area where you first saw it at the beginning of this video. This bottom area is called your taskbar. To put Word at this taskbar, all that you need to do is go up to here where it says Word, right click and click pin to taskbar. And when you do that, it'll add the word icon to the bottom of your, uh, or to the very right side of your taskbar. This will make it so that all you need to do is click on Word to launch it. Now, this is helpful because this makes it so that you don't have to search for Word every single time you want to use the application, nor do you have to do anything with the Start menu again. Instead, you just simply click on Word. But before we do that, I want to move Word uh, over here to the left of Excel. And so what I'm going to do to move Word is I'm going to click and drag all the way to the left of Excel and then release my mouse. When I do that, it'll permanently move Word to that spot unless I click and drag to move it again. So I click it to open up Microsoft Word. When we open up Word, we're going to see on the left side a list of recent documents. If you haven't opened up anything in Microsoft Word before, you'll see that it doesn't have any documents here, but you can still open other documents on your computer by clicking on that. What we're going to do today is look at the right side, which is where all of our templates are. This includes things like memos, calendars, resumes, all types of different uh, um, templates to choose from. And you can also do suggested searches up here to search for cards, flyers, letters, and so on. If you don't see the thing that you're looking for listed, you could also search for online templates right here by clicking in that box and then typing in what you're searching for. For today's lesson, we're going to simply go to blank document, which is this one right here. When you click on blank document, you'll notice it is exactly that, just a blank document. This doesn't contain anything other than the word defaults, so the default font, colors, themes, and so on. And so it's very bare bones, this one. But this is what we're going to use today, and we're going to get started with this window here. Now, as I mentioned, this is the first video of a playlist that, that is eventually going to be several Word videos long, and it's going to cover lots of the things that I explained today in detail. But I did want to give you a brief overview of the look and navigation of this application. So in the top left is your quick access toolbar. You'll see that it has a save icon, undo, redo, and customize quick access toolbar. This is actually really useful if you want to customize it with different commands that you wouldn't normally see in your ribbon or somewhere else on the application. You can customize this and actually make it pretty useful. However, for this playlist, I'm not going to use this at all. That's because I like to keep my Microsoft Word pretty standard default look for people that are viewing my videos. And so I'm going to leave this area alone. 
In the top middle, you'll see the document name, which is currently called document one. That's because we haven't chosen a save file name or location for this yet. So we don't have to uh, worry about that. It just says document one. We'll learn about how to save and print and do all those things in the future. So let's move on. Over here on the right side, you'll see your name or who you're logged in as, and then you'll see ribbon options. This allows you to collapse or expand the ribbon. And again, we'll cover that later on in this course. Then you'll see ma uh, minimize, maximize, and close. This closes the application. This will restore it down and expand it again. I always keep mine in the maximize mode, which takes up my entire screen. Moving on, you're now going to see the file tab, home tab, insert, and so on. These are called tabs, and this is where your ribbon starts. And whenever I refer to the ribbon, it'll be this area from the tabs all the way down here, which we're gonna go over in just a moment. So you'll see that you have the home tab and you can click on that and you'll see that this is the default tab that is selected when you open up a blank document. You could tell which tab is active because the tab has a light background as opposed to the default blue background on the rest of the tabs. As you click on insert, you'll notice that that one becomes with the white background. And then you'll see home is now with a blue background, letting you know insert is your active tab. You'll also notice that as you click through these tabs, all of the commands down below change. So each tab has its own set of commands. Go back to the home tab. I want you to find with your eyes the replace button or the replace command. I'll typically use the word command, but sometimes I call them buttons. So command. For replace well you'd have to look through all of these things and eventually get all the way over here to find replace now this isn't really the best way to navigate through this program because it requires you to read from left to right if you don't know where the command is so word added in and this is throughout all of microsoft office um, it added in what is called a group down at the bottom of the ribbon you'll see right here this is where the ribbon is and ends this says clipboard this is a non-clickable button only used for navigation, or rather just a non-clickable word used for navigation. You'll see clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, editing, and Adobe Acrobat. Yours may be slightly different than mine depending on your version of Microsoft Word, as well as the add-ins that you may have on your version. So if I wanted you to click on replace, I would never just say go to the home tab and then click replace. I'm going to give you the tab, then the group name, then the command name. So I would say go to the home tab, go to the editing group, and click replace. This is going to be helpful throughout my videos because you'll be able to just listen to what I say to get to the command that you need to get to. You will not need to have a visual look at the screen because I will always say go to the home tab editing group replace I'll never just say click replace so that way you know where we are when we're navigating through this program and learning more next up down below the ribbon you're going to see your actual sheet of paper by default word is in what's called print layout view which is how the document will look if it's printed so if I were to type something on here and then print out the page it would print out with those uh, letters or characters on them. The page is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, just like the paper that we normally print on. And so as you type or add things to this, it'll fill up. And then if you print, it'll show up when you print it out. Below that, down here at the very bottom, you're going to see what's called the status bar. The status bar gives you statistics on your um, current document. And it says page one of one, we're on line one and we've written zero words. As we add words to this, this number will increase. As we add lines or continue typing throughout lines, this number will increase. And finally, as we create entire pages, this number will increase. As we move to the right on the status bar, you'll see different views available in Word as well as zoom options to zoom in and zoom out. I never use these zoom options because you can hold down control on your keyboard and as long as you're over your paper, you can scroll up to zoom in or scroll down to zoom out. So there's another keyboard shortcut for you. You hold control on your keyboard and then use your scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out. And I can also use that scroll wheel without holding the control button to scroll up and down. 
Therefore, I never really use the scroll wheel down or the zoom options down here or the scroll wheel on the right side. And so that is your basic overview of this program. I hope that you found today's lesson helpful and you've decided to continue on in this playlist to learn more about Microsoft Word 2019 using Microsoft Office 365. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I have all of my playlists listed on my YouTube channel and you can find a variety of different playlists for Microsoft Office applications. And I've went through and put the playlist in order of level of difficulty from from beginners all the way through advanced levels. So if you find that helpful, please check out the playlist page on my channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment box down below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.